All right, you guys, we're back. I think I have an idea for another car we can use. Uh, it's not my favorites, really. Let's see, is it in the standard? It might be a premium car. I'm not entirely sure. Where are you? Oh, yep, it is a premium car. Check this baby out. Where is it? I didn't sell it, did I? Ah, here we go. The Volkswagen Kubel Wagon. Type 82. From year 44. Yes. 107 horsepower. Look at that. It starts right up. Oh, never mind. 108 horsepower is the max. So I have this fully upgraded. I think I was even able to get a turbo on there. So I'm expecting a lot better performance out of this than the uh, the Citroen. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I hope so. So yeah, we should be able to compete because it's almost double the horsepower that the Citroen had. Uh, let's make sure the transmission is set up correctly. Uh, we got soft racing tires because we want the most grip possible. These corners. I don't want them to be an issue with the speed we're going to be getting. Uh, top speed 149. Yeah, that seems about right. Because we were able to get, what, 92, 95 out of the Citroen? So yeah, I think 150 is definitely possible. Good thing we have the uh, soft racing tires on. Let's see. Yeah, that's me. Okay, yeah, the Zondas and the uh, that Aston Martin might be an issue too. Um, let's see what happens. Kind of holding my breath. Let's get the uh, sweet cabin view. Oh, Jesus. Look at that jerk. Whoa, whoa! Bullies! Jesus Christ. Oh, you asshole. Look at that, 113 miles per hour going around the corner. These racing tires definitely help me. <laughs> My guy leaning into the corner. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. You definitely need to do that. Only 11 seconds behind. I think we can make up this gap. Those guys definitely threw me off by ramming into me. It might have affected the car's performance because uh, you just never know. Okay, take the inside line there. Shortest route possible. 108 miles per hour. Fifth gear. Lean into that corner as much. Ah, there we go. Boom. So our best time in the Citroen was a minute 42, I think. No, a minute 38. That's right. Boom. Demolished that time. Demolished it. Listen to that exhaust. It just sounds amazing. Boom. Take the inside line. Get in there. Take it smooth. Got this, come on, come on, come on. 31 seconds, only 46 seconds behind. Uh, get some bugs off the windshield. There we go. Good God, look at those maniacs. Have they not heard of safety? Come on, come on. I 
and then two around the corner. Not bad. See that G meter down at the bottom center? It's going up. You know, we're pulling some G's around these corners. That's where the uh, racing tires come in handy. Try and pull this off with some uh, comfort tires or even sport tires. We're going to go sliding around these corners. Minute 26. We barely beat our first lap time by about 0.4 seconds. We're not we're not doing bad. I think we're doing good. Yeah, we're staying safe, which is completely necessary considering this is a coupe. Not a coupe. Uh, well, does it have a back seat? Yeah, it does. Okay, never mind. Not a coupe. But you know, it's a soft top. As you can see, it's folded up in the back there. Well, not folded, but furled. These guys are on the cool down lap. Uh, we're passing them. I was do a tap back for what they did to me. Boom. How do you like that, you asshole? There's a Porsche. Dick. Oh, look at this skill. Weaving in and out. Listen to that engine roar. Damn. All that horsepower. Minute 23, could be minute 26. Ah, no. That was our worst lap. Uh, minute 48 behind the leader. Better. But I think we might be able to do more. I should try it on a track with more corners because I think that's where my vehicles have the advantage because we wouldn't really need to slow down as much as the other guys. So obviously that's all we can get out of that the Kubel wagon. Um, you know, I think... I'll try it on a different track. So we'll do that next episode. See you guys later. Bye.